hero, I made you a hero a sandwich. Thank you, Karate, but I really couldn't eat all that. Mm. Could you go for half? The hot line. That pink here. That pink? We need you at the museum right away. The priceless pink pearl of Persia has disappeared. All right, Chief. I'll be over before you can say Jack Robinson. I have enough trouble saying the priceless pink pearl of Persia. <laughs> Drawbridge is going up. I don't think we can make it. We can try. The battle like hurdles into space, 300 feet above the icy current. Batfink knows the chances of making it to the other side are slim, but that's Batfink for you. <laughs> Priceless Pearl was taken from that case, and this time there are positively no clues. Don't be too sure, Chief. Let Batfink check with his supersonic sonar radar. place from top to bottom. I found it in the middle. And what's more, I know who stole the pearl. Then you'll bring him in? No. No? No? No reason was given for Batfink's strange action. The police are convinced he has defected to the side of crime. The entire nation has branded Batfink a traitor. Nobody calls Batfink a traitor. <laughs> So, bad things on our side. Hooray for our side. <laughs> he deserves to be cut in for a piece. Uh, bad thing, baby. I'm calling about the priceless pink pearl of Persia. Since you are nice to us, we want to be nice to you. So, come on down to the Surfside Motel, Bungalow 6. I'll be there before you can say Jack Robinson. I have enough trouble saying the priceless pink pearl of Persia. Come on in, Batfink. We're just about to cut the pearl. You can have the end cut. I'll take it all, thank you, and return it to the museum. Uh, then you're not a double-crosser? Who are you, double-crosser? Your bullets cannot harm me. My wings are like a shield of steel. It sounds like Batfink's in a trouble. <laughs> You stupid hand, look what you did. Just for that, you'll spend the rest of the day in the pocket. I got it. Let's go. Chief, 
belief when I told you I found a clue and knew who did it, I was only fooling. That was my way of getting them to come to me. Well, I'm sure glad we're finished with the priceless pink pearl of Persia. Oh, no! Something wrong, Chief? Someone just stole the sacred Siamese star sapphire of Sicily! Grips the city as its electrical system suddenly goes haywire. No one seems to know what is causing this strange disturbance. It's your little old mad scientist, me. The police believe that this is the work of a mad scientist. Of course I'm mad. If I was normal, would I be talking to a television set? Meanwhile, that thing, that valiant vanquisher of vile violence and villainous villains, is relaxing in his split-level cave with his persistent assistant, the capable karate. The hotline! That thing, I need your help on the short circuit case! Karate, the battle act! Don't speak, Bat Fink, you'll get a ticket! Bat Fink? You have already sent out your supersonic sonar radar to north by northeast and south by southwest. That leaves only north by northeast, southwest. Would you buy Crosstown? That's it. No, that thing's looking for me. I will destroy his supersonic sonar radar with my super duper sonic sonar radar horn. Scientist is in there. I will investigate. Oh, you booby bat thank you. You're going to walk right into my trap. Welcome. A steam cabinet. The heat is weakening me. And if the temperature rises any higher, my wings of steel will melt. I know. My supersonic sonar radar can help me. Now lead me to the mad scientist. Bad Fink! It was a pleasure knowing you! Bullets cannot harm me. My wings are like a shield of steel. Oh, this gun doesn't shoot bullets. A magnet. I'm pinned. Now I will create complete chaos. Then I will destroy you. That mad scientist is mad. He must be stopped. I'll signal for karate. But Frank's in trouble. I'd better wear my brass knuckles. Banzai! Batfink, how'd you get up there? That's how. Karate, we're on opposite poles of the magnet. If we can make physical contact, it will break the magnetic pull. Fortunately, you forgot to darn my socks. Now, if you forgot to darn yours, we can touch toes. Oh, but I did darn mine. Darn it. But I forgot to put them on. Now to stop that mad scientist. How, Bad Fink? This door is solid cast iron. Nothing can break it down. That's what he says. Ah. He's right. 
Step aside, karate. I can't work here with all this noise. I'll have to use my mobile city destroyer. Patent pending. the battle hack is equipped with a thermonuclear insulated plutonium heat shield. Also good, we have seat belts. Now for a little game of bridge. What are you stopping for? A hitchhiker. I ran out of gas. I'm taking you in. You better come along quietly. Oh, I'll come quietly. But you'll go noisily. Take one itsy bitsy step toward me, and I will throw this bomb and destroy us all. That thing had a chance to escape unharmed, but his stalwart sense of duty made him step forward towards certain destruction. Are we destroyed? No. My wings of steel shielded us from the explosion. Batfink, for your heroism, I am about to present you with the key to the city. Thank you. But half the credit should go to karate. So I'll take half. <laughs> 